What? Hey rabbits, it's Trixie and today I want to try to answer the questions how do Germans or Europeans see Americans? In this video I want to mention some major differences that I sense between Europeans and Americans. And no, I don't really want to talk about the typical stereotypes. All Americans are fat and everyone owns a gun. There are definitely enough videos of this kind out there. Instead, I want to base this video on my personal impressions, on the influences that I as a German get from the media or from movies. What made people think about America who never actually went there themselves and are only affected by what they hear and see from far away? Just be aware that all of the things I'm going to mention are highly biased. You know, without beating around the bush, I'm just going to tell you my first associations, the one that come to my mind. Which, by the way, does not mean that I actually believe that. I purposely avoided doing research on the aspects I'm going to mention. Because what I'm targeting in this video are exactly those half-truths about America. Because that may be what you have on your mind if you don't question things. Of course, no offense intended. I mean, let's be honest, we all fell for some sort of stereotype already, without being too critical about it. We don't research on everything we hear on another nation. We are subconsciously manipulated all the time in lack of own experiences. So the purpose of this video is to raise awareness of how Europeans or, well, Germans may seem America if they don't do educational research or have been there themselves. It may be a chance for Europeans to rethink their view on America and also an opportunity for Americans to work on their image if they don't like what they hear. My god, is this video gonna start at some point? Yes, exactly now. The first aspect that hits me when I think about how Americans appear to me are the impressions that I get from watching American YouTubers. Compared to other European colleagues, I feel that Americans are a bit more superficial, loud and over the top. Hey guys, it's me, Cindy, and today we are gonna experience something amazing together. The volume and this excitement are just a bit too much for me sometimes. They seem like they want to jump out of the camera right towards me and eat me or something like that. Everything is awesome and sunny and shiny and great. But let's face it, we are not all enthusiastic and happy all the time. Why would I scream opening a box of makeup or something like that? I know it's all for the show and it's cool to watch these extreme emotions. And there are actually more and more European YouTubers trying to do the same thing. But I still feel that this comes from America and we are only trying to copy that. And you know, I also have the impression that this small talk thing is not only limited to YouTube videos and, you know, presenting yourself online. It seems to be a social thing as well. All the times that I spoke to Americans in my life already, be it via Skype or just in an email, these people were so super nice. You get this feeling that life only consists out of balloons and cupcakes. So in general, I think that Europeans or at least Germans tend to talk a bit more about severe things and realistic topics. Sure, we also have small talk, but it's not quite the same. It's, hey, how's it going? And you know, there's like a 30% chance we actually care, while Americans hug and kiss and ask you, hey, what's up, long time no see, it's amazing to be here. I don't even know what to say about that, whether or not the American way is the better way or I prefer the European one. I just feel it's very different. The American way may be a bit fake, but also very warm-hearted and nice. The European approach seems a bit colder to me, but also slightly more authentic. So far, that was a pretty harmless topic to start off with. But let's take this whole superficiality aspect on another level. If I just listen to my guts and share my first associations with you, I would say that Americans, for example, care more about status symbols. A huge car, a big house, a beautiful wife. I feel like it matters slightly more to them what others think of them. If I, as a German, trust all these media and movie sources without questioning them, then it may appear to me that Americans care a lot about being famous and rich and liked. You know, that career and status and money matters a lot to Americans and also that they are not ashamed to brag about it. Little reminder, this does not mean that I actually think this is true. It's just something that I heard or saw more than once in my life and I feel that this is something that many people may believe in. That's something that you usually don't hear about Europeans, I would say. They also care about career, but they seem more focused on themselves instead of on others. And then there is this plastic surgery thing. I feel like, at least in Germany, this topic is not that common. I literally don't know 
anybody who did plastic surgery. And from my friends, I know that most of them wouldn't consider it. In America, however, it seems to be less of a taboo topic. My totally untrustworthy impression is that Americans get more plastic surgery done. It also pretty often happens that some of them go overboard and you see these women with super huge lips. And you know, these people that are Botoxed and lifted so that they cannot blink anymore. So is that something that you find more often in America than Europe or especially Germany? You tell me. Next up, nationalism. When you watch American movies, series or videos from America, you can see the American flag everywhere. It's like it's a second skin for Americans that they carry around all the time wherever they go. No matter what you watch, even if it's a family vlog or something, you can spot an American flag in the background. I hear many Americans say online how proud they are to be American, that America is the best country ever. Which to me, of course, is not a bad thing, but a bit weird. Especially considering that I am a German and we are somehow inhibited of showing national pride. You know, a healthy amount of national pride can be a good thing but sometimes I feel that Americans do it a bit too much. It's one thing to like the country that you're living in, but it also separates you from people coming from other places because you're like, we are the awesome Americans, you come from somewhere else where it's not that awesome. And I feel like it's more difficult to break the ice then. I just picture myself going to America and everyone would be like, America, America, American flag everywhere. I would feel a bit excluded. So it's kind of cool on one hand and a bit negative on the other hand to me. We had superficiality, we had national pride, so let's talk about people being a bit more extreme than in other nations. Whenever I watch an American movie or even just an American YouTube video, I feel that everything is more colorful. People don't seem to be afraid of showing bright colors and super amazing effects every five seconds. Many movies are action-packed. Or you have these super silly, cheesy, romantic movies. Or it's like super dramatic, super sad. To me, it seems like the premise of every American movie is make people talk about it. Be it because it's actually super epic, a little bit politically incorrect or super, super bad. It's difficult to make a transition here, but I feel that not only concerning movies, everything has to be bigger, faster, more expensive, richer, more successful. This is really not meant as an offense, but American people sometimes seem a bit more freaky and hysterical to me. They seem to be less afraid of being who they are, of dressing how they want, of dreaming big. While my parents would have told me, yeah, Trixie, you know, being a superstar may sound like an amazing job, but what about you finish school first and then you see after you studied? Media gives me the impression that American parents are more like, Stacy, you're five years old. You have to practice walking in your high heels or don't you want to become a pop star? No matter if that's true-ish or not, again, this would have good and bad sides. On one hand, I feel like Europeans or at least Germans are somewhat too inhibited of dreaming big. Do you know how many people shook their heads when I told them that I want to be a YouTuber or that I want to write a book, star in a series or in a movie? I mean, if you still manage to get your shit together, why not have a dream like that? Why not try? But obviously the negative side may also be that people lose track of reality. And the same applies to people being more freaky. It's awesome when you accept who you are and live who you are, not caring about others, showing yourself as you want to. Then again, there are people going overboard with it, painting their poodles pink because they think it's cool and stuff like that. Also, what I don't like is the tendency to exposure of the same people. All these super dramatic and disrespectful talk shows. I know most of them may be scripted and that's not actually the truth, but I'm sure at least some of them are and you're just making money out of someone else's misery. There are like two evil sides to that. People trying to expose others to make money and you know the audience believing this kind of stuff, watching it over and over again, hungry for more extremes and weirdos. I cannot really decide which view on America is the more accurate one. The one that you're not judged too much for being yourself, which is a good thing or the one with all this exposure and people being seen as freaks. I also mentioned hysterical, which means that I think that Americans show more extreme emotions that may be a bit over the top. Road rage, for example, I've never seen that here in Germany in all my life. And it's bad because it's dangerous. Furthermore, another association is that also the beliefs of some people are more hysterical. I mean, Scientology? Lizard people? Or what about this strange attitude of some mothers towards vaccines, that they cause autism and you cannot vaccinate your child? <sighs> 
I don't know anybody in Germany that has these doubts. Are there actually many Americans doubting vaccines? Another impression that may or may not be true, but that I have in my gut somewhere, is that Americans are very competitive. The high schools and colleges have football matches all the time with cheerleaders and woo! And even for the more quiet and nerdy guys such as me, you have the science fair. There are beauty contents around every corner, even for children sometimes. Not to speak of all the weird talent shows, which is kind of linked to the exposure aspect as well. You know, speaking from my own experiences, in school, of course, we also had football matches and stuff like that, but there is no cheerleading, for example. I never did it myself, I don't know anybody who did it, and I wouldn't even know where to go to do it. And sure, Europeans also have talk shows and talent shows and contents, but the American versions of all of that always seem like a level or two higher to me. And then, of course, how could I end this video without talking about guns? If I, as a German, would brainlessly trust all the different media influences, then I would see Americans as crazy about guns. It's your third birthday. Here's your gun. Just for you, sweetie. Now you can join your father shooting squirrels. I bet that the truth looks much different, and I can imagine that Americans are a bit tired of hearing that. However, if I listen to my unprofessional gut feeling, I would say that America has a bit more emphasis on military things. The army, the navy, all of that seems to be connected with heroism and respect. You don't have to like it or go for it yourself, but at least you have to appreciate it in a way. That may seem like a weird claim, but let me tell you where I got this from. At the moment, my daughter loves to watch the videos of Bob Die Bahn, Bob the Train. It's basically children's songs with funny and colorful animations. But it's also originally from America, and one of the episodes is about Bob Die Bahn going to an army camp. Kinder, lasst uns etwas Tolles machen. Heute fahren wir ins Militärlager. What? I want my two-year-old daughter to learn about colors and animals and fruit, but not about war and military vehicles that are shown as heroes in that little clip. I am a tank. I protect our nation against enemies. What is a toddler supposed to make out of that? And that's not the first time I noticed that. In many other songs or clips that I of course watch before I show them to my daughter, there's this military theme popping up out of nowhere. And this is why this feeling that Americans are a bit more into military stuff comes from. So maybe, maybe there is some truth to that one cliché. All right, Babbitts, there are many more things to mention, but I think this video is already long enough. Again, I really, really hope you understood the purpose of this video. All of these things were just things in my head, and it doesn't mean that I actually believe them. But the fact that they were there means that some source, media, movies, whatever, provided me with these impressions, with this potential mindset. By all means, I did not intend to brag about Americans or offend somebody. I just wanted to mention some strange thoughts that Europeans may have of Americans. Of course, you should never trust those half -truths truths and always research yourself. Go to America yourself before you claim stuff. But still now I'm very curious, how many of these stereotypical associations did you recognize? Especially if you're not American, where did you say, yeah, true, that's actually also the impression that I have? Disregarding where it comes from, it's just something I feel inside and I never question it. And of course to all the Americans out there, how true were the things that I mentioned? Is that something that you would expect Europeans to think about America? What other stereotypical thoughts like that are you used to? I really hope that I managed to communicate what I intended the purpose of this video to be. I'm a bit scared, actually. So I hope that you understood my good and a bit naive intentions for this video and that you liked it. If so, please leave a thumbs up because that would make me really, really happy. Of course, as always, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook. And here is a video that you should definitely check out as well. Subscribe to Don't Trust the Rabbit for more videos like this, and if you want to support my channel even more, you can also find me on Patreon. I would appreciate your help so, so much. Now I wish you all a wonderful day. Check out my other videos if you'd like to, and hopefully we are gonna see each other in my next one. Bye!